Okay, so Charles has been playing this DD, and people have been telling me this is not actually like a main, and I'm extremely confused. Someone needs to explain to me what's going on, because it's putting in work, and I don't know how to feel about it. Well, it, this is the moment where it's been putting in, it's been putting in work against players who, you know, he was seated above them. But... Now he's up against Utopian Ray, one of the highest seeded entrants here in the bracket, one of the best players in the New York area. So, I mean, we'll see if the DDD is up to stuff. We've seen that it can do some nice things, but... I mean, traditionally, like, Palutena has just been the... the what, how do I want to say it? Just the, the hot dog eating contest champion of the heavy matchups, you know? Just, you just take Nair for a run, you just keep going. Yeah, and... Well, you know, after the nerfs from a while ago, her kill power is a little bit less consistent. That and for true. DDD, that's really important. DDD sur DDD's survival is, like, paramount to his entire gameplay. Like, he's, like, top three most survival characters, let's be honest. Like, see, you see that right there? Off the top, he's the yeah. single most. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ken K. will get some run for his money, but I think that, like, since Brawl, like, this character has just been, like, historically, like, uncontested for his survivability in the vertical sphere. Yeah, and I mean, Palutena is a character that likes to kill off the top, yeah. as we're seeing. Exactly. So. She's got a ton of tools that are great, but also if we might see a back air come out too if he's going to be stuck on this ledge for longer. All right, but in fact he comes off of the ledge, gets his first hit from a few, for a few minutes. Oh, almost had, he actually had him. That, that is where DDD excels at those ledge traps with a Gordo. Oh, nice, nice inhale. All right. Little cheeky thing with right. no way. What a great call out from Charles. Did he hurt box have to dodge the neutral air? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I mean, that I hammer has a huge hitbox on it. I wouldn't be surprised if he just stuffed it out. Right, okay, yeah. finally. Yep. yep. But I mean, he's Topian so Ray, keep keeping it pretty, keeping it nice and tight. It's what you like to see for these game ones. Oh yeah, but at the oh. same time, Charles. Oh, look at the smash! The three. Eye. All right, gets out of the fourth one, but he gets he's stuck on the platform. All right. All right, fifty-nine percent, and honestly, for DDD, it's <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. He said, "Yo, I got you, homie." All right. I mean, it's oh, just yeah. stuck to the ledge there. Menacingly <laughs> staring at you <laughs> <laughs> with this wall eyed expression. It stops, um, it stops staring at me with them big old eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Charles now doing a really good job once again surviving. I think Utopian Ray is going to probably start looking for moves that can kill off the side a bit more. Yeah, I don't think the verticality is working out for him as much as he might want it to. I mean, for what it's worth, like, Charles is definitely, like, keeping his own in this. Like, the Blitzies have been pretty on point. Yeah, he's been taking, like, six, like 40 plus damage early on, but I don't think he actually just cares. All right, he's a dodge and he's dodging yeah. these, like, side Bs really well. Oh, wow. Oh. He, that was, like, the last possible uh, dodge, like, the very end of the, uh, of the explosive flame there. And All right. Yep. There we go. That's that side killing move. DDD, the best character in the game at surviving off the top, but off the side, he is heavy, but because he is a fast faller, he dies a little bit earlier than some of the other heavies would. And a nice pivot from Utopian Ray, recognizing that that's most likely how he's going to be taking stocks. Yeah. yeah, that is true. And the first, actually, I think this might be one of the first times we've seen Utopian Ray like in a strong lead, like especially a stock lead. So let's see how much extra, how much extra mileage he can get off of it. Yeah, I mean, I would expect at least 50 because that's two, like it's like one neutral interaction. Exactly. I mean, he's already there. He's, he's, he's climbing up really fast. Yeah, and Charles needs to actually find a hit here. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it looks like Utopian Ray's got his setup going. He's got the lead. He feels no obligation to, to rush things. All right, I see. There's, that looks like that's what Charles is going to be trying to bank on. Yeah, but honestly, a really good delay from Utopian Ray trying to recover as late as possible to dodge that dash attack two-frame attempt. But now, yeah, those forward airs, I mean, they're solid damage, but forward air from DDD is not really a kill move. No, no, not, not, yeah, you know, eventually he's going to call him out up there. Yep. Yeah. Up, Utopian Ray just established too much momentum right in the middle there, and he was just able to hold on to it for the rest of the whole game, and that's really kind of just what worked out for him. He managed to avoid all the ledge traps. He wasn't really concerned with Gordo. The specials from Palutena were putting in a lot of work, just keeping DDD out the whole time. Like You know, Charles had a really tough time trying to get in after he lost that, that stock lead. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think also one of the really important changes that Utopian Ray made was he started looking for kills off the side. Both stock two and stock three were back airs. Exactly. He, he was really going for these up airs that weren't killing at like 170. Yeah. <laughs> off of the off the PS2 platform too, nonetheless. Consider that as well. Okay, here comes the rob. I think this. Yeah. 
This is so Charles is having a bit of a character crisis, but this is one of the characters that definitely uh, this is like the sort of character that he reliably got onto Westchester PR with, uh, as I recall. Oh, he was Westchester PR. I'm pretty sure. I was unaware. Now I know. Huh? Cool. No, he's a solid, solid player. I'm. I don't know. If, I know that his brother quit. They are brothers. Oh, okay. Um, if that helps explain some things. Okay, so he did switch characters, yeah. but some of the problems persist, as you see. I mean, you're still playing a big, heavy character, but you know what? This character, on this heavy, has a stronger neutral tool in the form of Gyro, and he has up close boxing tools now that are probably going to help him get out of a lot more situations. That is very true. Oh. Although, likewise, it is still Palutena, and you're still fighting the Palutena matchup as a big body, so... Yeah, I mean, listen, he's taking 77, meaning that, okay, fine. That's just what you sign up for when you play a heavy against Palu. And now the true game begins. <laughs> now I can start to play. Although we're not really seeing like any like Gyro get established. He really hasn't had the space to... Oh, excuse me. Can we uh, can we talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> he just went right into it. It's, I mean, I know Rob Neutral is good, but I don't think it's good enough to... to, uh, a, to, to against Palutena Down Smash, though? I don't think I mean, anyone should have beaten it out, but I, I mean, was just like a weird hitbox. I did it a little so. too late. All right. Although the, now, oh, okay. Actually, that back air lingers for so long. He's actually going to manage to keep his advantage. Oh yes, he then he takes a stock for it. Yep, and that's a stock lead. Charles actually surviving, and this time around. So when he took the stock lead with DDD, I mean, okay, that's cool. But when you take the stock lead with Rob, all of a sudden you can start doing some really important, important things. Walling the opponent out, getting all sorts of damage. As we see, already 60% has been dished out onto Utopian Ray. I thought for sure, like when we were over there, he was going to go for like a side beat just to get an early, another early stock and just keep it going. But you know what? Obviously, Charles not going to be one for Greek, and it just take the percent where he can find it. He has the gyro out. He can find his windows wherever he wants to. He's in no obligation to hurry now. Kind of similar to Ray did before, and he's going to not quite. Good DI from Ray. Yeah. Okay, claims Ooh. the gyro as his own. But he still needs to take the stock at 154%. He's still s struggling to find a way to end it. Yeah, and he's not really giving Ray an opportunity to get some of those big moves. Oh, yeah, he even dodges the grab. All right, not quite. Good job with that ledge attack. The ledge attack has invincibility throughout. Okay, yeah, so that's the sort of thing where your opponent is probably going to, well, usually you DI out, because if you're DIing for back throw, you're going to be holding away anyway. Oh, what a catch. That's an entire two stock lead. It's wild. Uh, yeah, Utopian Ray's got to find an answer quick. Otherwise, you think the banjo might be the answer? We might. Just maybe. I mean, let's not count him out yet. Yeah, he is still. I mean, you can make any. You can make a lot of stuff work with Palutena. But it's gonna take. A, it's gonna take a lot of that something. All right. He does still have him stuck at the ledge right now, so he is in a good spot. Although, it looks like Charles is actually doing a pretty good job just getting out when he needs to, even if it is at the fault of a combo. Yeah, all right, 46%. I mean, that's just c'est la vie. That's uh, the life. C'est la vie de la heavy, <laughs> as the French say. Uh, but now we have Charles. You know, he still has this stock with Utopian Ray Force to approach. And, oh, man, Rob's damage output is... Honestly, pretty solid. It really is, and like the gyro just takes it to a whole nother level too. Just that that gyro just does so much for him. Like it just kind of sat there for a while, preventing Ray from actually doing anything realistically. Even if they're going to trade like a few sock, a few projectiles here and there, it's yeah. really going to work out in Charles' favor, I think. Yeah. Now it is worth noting that Utopian Ray he plays banjo, so he is very familiar with item play. He hasn't. He's been doing it a little bit, but for the most part, he hasn't been trying to do anything too cheeky with the. Uh, oh, with the gyro. Oh, man. I, it may also just be my my perception, but I don't feel like Charles has just been giving Utopian Ray like a lot of opportunities to get the gyro or his own control. He seems to be very reserved with his gyro usage. All right, low recovery. Range is back. Not really going to get spooked by, uh, by Utopian Ray waiting there for him. Yeah, now, so Charles, he had a huge lead. And that lead is, I mean, it's still <laughs> there. But it's not quite in the same way. Can we, yeah. can we take a moment to just talk about how long Rob just chilled up in that blast zone, just finding his own business? Oh yeah, and what is that? 150? I think you stopped taking uh, magnifying glass damage. Yeah, I think you're right. I just looked. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right, you explosive flames actually in a second. You know, Gray's not that far behind now, actually. Well, let me keep in mind. Oh. After a single neutral interact, if he wins neutral once, he's gonna do about 50 percent. 
Oh, 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 I feel like he's just barely off on his timing there. Yeah, look, yeah, Ray's looking for these, uh, looking for these neutral airs to get himself started, but uh, I think smart Charles from Ray there to jump out Ooh. and right. still ends up catching him. Charles, and we hear the venue popping off. Charles, of course, the hometown guy here. Uh, although, you know, Ray is almost honorary Westchester, considering the fact that he comes up here often. But Charles is a little bit more, you know, born and raised in the scene. Well, uh, yeah, exactly, right? Do you think we're going to see Banjo? You think so? Do you think so? I'm Do I think so? It's a good question. I don't know. I think it kind of might depend on the stage. I think he'll... No. I didn't... As much as I would have loved to see it, I don't, th I don't think he feels a need to do it. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, it's a big, heavy character, and... I'm not sure, like, he, Banjo gives him, like, that many advantages, considering... Yeah, I mean, one thing is that... I mean, it's hard to say, because it, the way that Charles won that game had to do with the first stock. He was down by a lot, and then he got that really clutch gyro into Roto Arm combo that put him in the lead, and once he got the lead, he was able to do a ton yeah. of work with it. Exactly. Although, I mean, right now, Ray's definitely doing a good job, like, taking command out of the gates. Yeah, but I mean, that's what he did last time, but he needs to seal the deal, at least for this first stock. That's okay. very true. All right, okay, the gyro is online. Looks like Charles might actually be getting something going with it. Yeah. Now, I do also want to mention that Utopian Ray, one of the best adaptive players I've ever seen. His neutral is so good, and the way that he changes what he needs to do in order to counter what his opponent is doing, um... It's 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 really a it's an amazing thing to watch, and against a character like Rob specifically, who once you figure out his habits, once you figure Ooh. out his game plan, it's just you do catch. what you need to, and then uh, yeah, yeah, and then you just kind of get that. What an excellent catch from Ray. Now Ray gets to be in his element. He gets to play this defense. Although if he gets this opening with the nair, he's gonna take it. He's gonna take us to 45. Ooh. All right, what's the what's the follow up? Interesting. Twist. This might be the sort of thing where. Charles might regret going DDD game one as much as I personally love to see DDD. Just, it just might have been enough to give Ray the wiggle room he needed. Yeah, I mean, Ray only has to take this game, and so far it's looking, at the very least, oh, you know, it's still man. early on, but he's poised to do a lot with this lead. Right. Nice follow up off the neutral air. How are you going to catch the landing? Let's see it. All right, you know, Ooh. this just going to result in a, a bit of a scrapping situation. Nothing nothing too huge for either. They're just, both are just kind of looking for some options right now. Although, it, this, I think we're seeing a little bit of a repeat from game one, where now that Ray has it, he's more content to just sit back and just rely on like things like auto reticle and explosive flames to help him out. Yeah, especially because after a little while, it wears down the shield. Ooh, nice and catch. Yeah, similar like that. We, he started to ca he's getting Charles to get a little too comfy up there. He's just going to jump up there. And now that he's not DDD, it's going to make that up air an effective killing tool again for Utopian Ray. Oh, yeah. And now, oh, Charles getting hit by the neutraler once more. Doesn't eat that much percent for it. Only 37. Only 37. Um, <laughs> Compared to the 45 he took last time, I guess. Only that's less. true. You know, a little bit baby steps. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this is going to look very grim here. Looking Ooh. for... I definitely agree with that. Where it's like Utopian Ray is hoping for the air dodge. He thinks his opponent is scared. Whenever you have a huge lead like that, oftentimes that's when your opponent starts really panicking. And so Ray tried to capitalize on that, but good stuff to Charles, not letting the panic get a hold of him. And oh, the taller blast zones on Town and City helping Charles out here. But he's already 113. Yeah. He needs like at least one ridiculously oh. early rock kill. What? That's one of them. Okay, you know what? You know what? He's still he's still got a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, Charles actually still has a few trump cards here. He could definitely make this happen. Yeah, and I mean we all know that Rom has some crazy gyro combos that can lead to some insanely early offstage kills. That might be Charles's uh, sort of win condition at this point, or at least it is one of them available to him. Trying to just like play the neutral until you get Utopian Ray to kill percent and then actually kill him. That's a tall order here. Oh, but he might start finding it soon. I mean, his disadvantage is looking really good right now. There's a bravery to it that I don't think Utopian Ray was expecting to have to deal with. Yeah, kind of. Re he's really just not letting like conventional wisdom face him. Like Charles is actually just doing an amazing job against his character. All of a sudden, we're in a last hit situation. Oh, but that neutral layer is that going to do it? No, Aqua it's not Donna, enough. Quiet. All right, how's he going to get down? All right. Whoa. I like the drift back from Charles to avoid that upper. That was great by him. Chasing him down. God, so, he's putting on so much pressure. All right, the up smash. Oh! 
trading right there. Utopian right. I think he was looking for a back air, or back throw rather. Oh, and what? Oh, the last hit of the neutral. I think he shielded the first parts of it also, but.